It's so muddy. When you're hella lazy and you don't have any treats, so you have to bring dried apples. Hey, say! Oh god, the paddock is so muddy. Ripped my toms. How do you out here? Why did I wear my toms? Hey, dude, you don't even need a pool tease because you're. Oh my god, look at the pool. Hey, buddy. What's up? Say hi, everybody. He has a cut. I just hosed his legs off, which is why it's like wet, but he's got a cut. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like right there. So he's not lame though, so we're good. <laughs> pony in his nice jumper attire and yeah I'm wearing a halter and I'll explain why in a second so I'm about to do some pulls basically I've taken this chance I want to retrain him from the ground up in sense of jumping when we used to jump um, he would I would like because he was so like not sure if he'd jump or not I would like catch him in the bit a lot and so we're not sure if he jumped at his old place when we got him but he seems to be terrified of jumping and will only jump if you don't have a bit in his mouth so we're kind of taking it from the ground up today and yeah I'm gonna grab some ground poles and put up like a little course and just get him comfortable doing poles again because at one point he was scared so we're gonna do that and I will film it I might do a voiceover I haven't decided yet and yeah, there's my cute pony. Are you excited? He's sleepy. So that's what's going on. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Calm down, please. he was so good he's really rushed you guys will be able to tell he's really rushy towards the jumps but I'm also jumping in halter so anyways he was so good he is such a good boy good boy and now we're just gonna hack around 
he's like so out of breath from doing pulls. He just has way too much speed towards jumps and like gets insane. But he was super good. He hasn't jumped since last time I vlogged, which is probably three months ago. So he was good. He just needs to learn to control his speed over at ground pulls before we can move on to cross rails. So this is the course I had. I just had one there, one there, and then a little diagonal, which he was really scared of, but he was such a good boy. My mitts are really holy and also dig my look. It's like muddy paddock boots and pink socks. But I'm just gonna hack him out now. time for this baby so I don't know if you guys know but I use this after I ride when I have really hard rides when I jump so I use the pool tees after I jump and whatnot when I have a hard workout and then I let it harden and then I spray it off because it helps tighten the muscles and keep everything in his legs all good I'm really sweaty I apologize so we're gonna put that on him and bring him up that's what he looks like after he pool tees his legs and yeah I'll explain it when I get home why I do it but yeah it just looks like that a lot of adventures do it he's gonna go outside now I'm gonna get a ton of comments on this, but I'm gonna get comments asking why I had pool tees or like clay my horse without putting standing wraps on him or what bandages. And basically, if you guys didn't know, there is like most labels for pool tees actually say that you don't have to wrap. And I don't wrap him, but I only really ever pool tees him when he has a really hard workout and or like there's any strain on his legs. So like if my horse did cross country, then I would use it. But he doesn't. So jumping is kind of the most strenuous activity he does. If you guys don't know, pool tees is just a clay base that you apply to the legs and the body to reduce swelling and heat and inflammation etc etc you can use it for hoof packing really you can use it for anything i use it for his legs so basically if you think about it the the cold clay is drying to the horse's legs and then you're hosing it off and the drying of the legs taping you know it's pulling the skin when the clay dries it increases motion and circulation and blood flow and all that fun stuff awesome also it's really good for the bugs because they can't get through that thick layer so i just wanted to kind of update you guys on all of that because I know I was gonna get questions on that but yeah I definitely enjoy it it's not doing any harm to him so why the heck not and so my camera died when I was at the barn so I apologize I also apologize for my appearance um I'm kind of coming out of that sickness so I was like I'm not wearing makeup my eyes are really blue today but anyways I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about my vlog because I know it's gonna confuse some of you guys a bit so I said in a few vlogs back that I didn't plan on jumping Salem because of his arthritis but basically he is deemed allowed to jump one or two jumps occasionally he can I would never put my horse through something he doesn't enjoy like jumping but it is a change of scenery and as long as it's like low jumps like cross rails and like baby verticals he doesn't mind it but he does get really stressed out when the jumps start to get higher and so like I said I would never put my horse in a situation that I don't want him to be in but I basically, I'm not saying that I'm going to indefinitely not show my horse. There's obviously the odd that chance that I might. But you guys have to understand that I'm not made of money and like my money is really hard earned. And so when I get the money to show, I don't want it to go disastrous as it does. And it just kind of never seems to get better. It's been like three years of showing and he just never seems to chill out off property. And so I made the decision, I talked to my coach, and I just said, I'm not going to show because it's too stressful for him. Either I'll catch ride some horses and show them, or I'm just not going to show. And then I figured if I wasn't going to show, then I was going to have fun with my horse. And by that, I mean I want to jump. I want to try Western. I want to do fun things. And I hope you guys are okay with that, like me not always sticking to dressage. I'm just, I really want to change it up with him, and I hope you guys are okay with that. And that's kind of what I want to talk about, because I know the jumping thing was going to be kind of like a, whoa, what are you doing? But basically that, and the reason I kind of started him off in a halter and lead rope was just because he has had really bad experiences jumping, and I don't know with the previous owners what has happened to him, but he has a giant fear of jumping, and he only seems to chill out when he doesn't have a bit in his mouth. So I'm starting to think he was like previously like, not abused by bits, but you know. So we took it in a halter, he was really good, he was really rushy, but I kind of expected that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And comment down below any video suggestions and subscribe.
and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.